Welcome to Tech Photo Blog. This is episode number 89. It's been a while since I've talked about photographing lightning, so I thought I'd do another video about it with a coinciding update to the Camera X software, which makes this better. So here's the new software for the Camera X5 that has the lightning menu added. There didn't used to be a lightning menu, you used to use the advanced menu, but uh, now there's this specialized lightning menu that has settings that are sort of more tuned for photographing lightning. And um, we'll walk through this. I will include a link to the software so anybody with a Camera X5 can update their device to add this menu. It's, it's super simple and I'll tell you what the different settings on it are for. So uh, first off, you'll see a device one and a device two. That's basically if you wanna have uh, one or two cameras attached uh, to the camera axe. Uh, in this example, we're just having one device and then you have your trigger sensor. Uh, that'll be uh, sensor one or none in um, this. So you always wanna probably set that to, to sensor one. Your delay in milliseconds is basically how long after it senses the lightning should you start opening the shutter on your camera. For lightning, you probably want to have that set to zero. Uh, your bulb time is basically how long you want the shutter to stay open on your camera. Um, and you can set your camera to uh, sort of not be in so if it's in bulb mode this means that your camera would have the shutter open for one second but if you'd rather have more fine grain control you can leave this at one second and then just tell your camera to only leave the shutter open for you know like i don't know a hundredth of a second or something and uh that'll work fine too so this only matters a lot if you want to uh, have your camera in bulb mode or if you want to if you put this like to five seconds, that means you would not get more than one shot every five seconds. So you can use it to control sort of how often you get uh, shots as well. With the uh, pre-focus, that's basically telling the camera to stay in a very active state. People are going to typically shoot lightning with uh, manual focus. So this is just uh, going to reduce the uh, shutter lag of your camera. It uses a little a little more power in your camera, but it's usually worth it for lightning. So I, I recommend setting that to yes. Uh, so the trigger value is uh, there was a threshold setting on the advanced menu, and what we've basically done is we've taken that threshold uh, algorithm that we had for the advanced menu and sort of tweaked it to be more. Uh, specifically targeting lightning. So basically threshold, the way threshold works is you've kind of got this value and if you see a brighter light value like this, it would trigger and if you saw a darker value like this, it would trigger and you sort of define sort of this area in the middle where it doesn't trigger. So if you just see a little bit brighter, it won't trigger, but if you see a lot brighter, it would trigger. Um, so what we've done is we've taken that basic idea and said, well, you only want to take a picture of lightning when it gets brighter. So that means that it has to get brighter. It won't take a picture if things get darker. And uh, that's good because it gets rid of half of the false triggers. So let's say a, you know, a cloud covers the sensor in the advanced mode. You know, if it was a, a really you know, abrupt cloud change, it would cause a trigger. Um, now you can get as dark as you want instantaneously and uh, that will not cause a trigger. So that's good uh, because you get less false triggers this way. The second improvement is the threshold value before was sort of locked in uh, uh, with a certain value and now we allow it to slowly move over time and uh, actually this update second value, the last thing that's 0.8 seconds. Basically it's saying every 0.8 seconds it's going to readjust its threshold value. So for instance, imagine a, a cloud comes over, uh, was over the value. Um, I'm sorry, a cloud sort of occurs and your light value sort of decreases. It's going to 
readjust the threshold to this new brightness with the clouds in, in the scape, or if it's getting dark, it's near sunset, and things are slowly getting darker. If it's near sunrise and things are slowly getting brighter, basically this threshold value is going to be constantly updating itself and not giving you a bunch of false triggers. So that's much better for lightning. And uh, basically what these last two values do is they allow you to sort of adjust how that um, threshold setting works. The first one is basically sort of how big the dead zone is around the threshold value uh, before it triggers. So um, you can kind of see when I'm not moving my finger around the light sensor, it's getting like a value of, you know, four, five, six, and that basically means there's that much fluctuation of light in this room. And that, that's a little high because I'm in uh, a room with some fluorescent lighting. So those kinds of uh, values fluctuate, th those kinds of lights cause some fluctuation. Uh, and you can adjust how much fluctuation you accept. And I've got that set to a value of 10 right now. You can sort of play around with that and make it more or less sensitive. Um, this update seconds, as I already mentioned, is sort of how long between when it starts moving its threshold um, floating average kind of. You can think of it as an average threshold that sort of changes over time. And uh, those are the settings in this new lightning sensor. So once you've got them set the way you want, you hit activate. And uh, you can see that the... Uh, camera trigger light over here is green and if I sort of cover it up <clears throat> and then I release it now that's sort of like a flash of light and it causes um, that light to go orange which means that the camera would have been triggered the reason that the light is constantly green right now is because we have the pre-focus setting on if I didn't have the pre-focus on then the LED would would just be um, off completely um, the other nice thing about this new mode is that um, it sort of gives you a whole bunch of information here. Uh, the reference base is sort of the current value being red. So if I cover up the light sensor, that's going to drop way down. And then if I let it up, it goes way up. Um, the current uh, value and difference is sort of sort of telling you with respect to that uh, threshold value where you're at and will help you debug why things are triggering or not. Uh, the trigger value is that threshold value that I talked about and we had that set to 10. The um, update reference seconds is 0.8 seconds right now. The trigger count is basically how many photos have been taken. So if I keep you know, moving my hand around here, it's going to trigger a bunch more times. Now we're up to uh, 13 triggers. So this is, you know, kind of a, a nice menuing system that sort of keeps you up to date on what the camera axe is doing and uh, how many photos it's taken. So that's also a really nice addition uh, that Dan and PTB have uh, made. So I want to thank those guys once again. And uh, hopefully people will find this new menu uh, useful and if you have any feedback definitely uh, you know post those ideas in the forums because uh, this menu is actively being updated right now and I think that uh, it's pretty likely that if people have some good ideas they'll they'll get integrated into that um, if you do it pretty quickly so get out there and photograph some lightning thanks for watching